Okay, so welcome back. So the postman has bought me a couple of presents in the mail, and what I've bought is a a Atlas Silver Series GP40, and this is DC ready. It doesn't uh, DCC ready doesn't have a chip in it yet, and also got a Athens Genesis, and this is a GP9. Now, the reason why I bought these locos is if you, if when you get on the internet, there's a lot of talk about which, who makes the best locos and the details and so forth. So I thought I'd buy some examples myself, and then I can have a look and make my own mind up about which logo brand I would, I'll end up buying. Uh, later down the track. So, over the next couple of videos or or so forth, I will be reviewing the locos in different ways. And this this particular video will be about um, how when how you receive the loco and the condition it comes in. And then I'll be doing other videos on how well they run on the tracks and and uh, other sorts of, of things. So I'm going to start with the Intermountain logo. Already I had this one already, but um, I thought I'd just talk about what happened when I received this logo. And I'll just open the box up. Now this was pretty well packed, and pretty well packed, and it, it came in reasonable condition. There was some slight damage to the actual logo itself when I received it. The front ditch light here was was broken. One of the just one of the ditch lights here was broken. I had to re-glue it back on. And the rear uh, handrail back here was slightly damaged and I had to fix that as well. But overall pretty good condition that when it turned up and well packed and it also came with some some spare um, little couplings in the box which is pretty good so I was pretty happy with the the quality of the Intermountain logo and the paint job and, and so forth alright so let's put the Intermountain one to the side and let's have a look at the atlas. So we'll open it up and doesn't seem to be any damaged parts on it from from the outside here. So we'll just take it out of the box and it did come with a warranty card and some instructions about various detail pieces and if you flip over it gets into about installing the speakers and, and so forth. So that that's pretty good. So let's open this Loco and we've got some spare parts here. Oh, not spare parts, these are the front and rear handrails which will need to be installed. And what else we got here? They look like maybe some sunshades over the windows and a snow plow maybe. One more piece. These are clear. I'm not sure what they are yet, but I'm sure I can have a look at the instructions and find out what that is. Okay, so let's pull it out and have a look. Like the Intermountain logo, it's quite well packed in a foam box. Here it is. So straight out of the box. 
I can see that it looks actually in very good condition. The handrails look excellent. Just turn it over. Yeah, so it's pretty good. It's quite heavy. You can see where there's some more detail parts that need to be added. So I've taken the handrail protectors off now and yeah there's there's some cabin and there's some people inside the loco now you have to add some of the detail to yourself the intermountain was ready to go but I do I do like the level of detail on this loco it's quite nice actually now I'm not going to get into whether or not this thing is prototypical or not I'm just more interested in how it looks and the level of detail and the paint job and it all looks quite quite good alright so let's put this one aside be very gentle with these and we'll open up the the Athen So it comes with a warranty card like the other one and some advertising and a little booklet here. Some information on the loco and probably some stuff here about maintenance and so forth. So it's it's a nice little little touch, little booklet there. So let's have a look. So there's a note here saying to be careful when you open it. So all right, so I've got the paper down. I have heard some bad things about the Athen models. So we'll have a, we'll open it up and we'll have a look. So it's, it's very well packaged, I believe, in a box with, with the foam, so I don't think you could package it any better. A model with this much level of detail, I guess there's going to be, there may be some problems. Now I am in Australia, so this, this model has travelled halfway across the world to get here. So I'm just going to look at it, I can see already that, right there, that the handrail is not, doesn't look like it's sitting properly. Looks like it's popped out. So, all right. So let's let's open this thing up. lid just pops off there we go lovely so let's pull it out and let's have a look at this then and also just notice that on the bottom here there's a small bit of plastic here it seems to have fallen off. Not sure where that goes. Yeah, I'll just set that to the side for the moment. Pull the handrail protectors off. Okay, so let's have a closer look now. and I do like the detail on it. The handrail here as I suspect is slightly popped out of its thing but that's quite an easy fix that one. That's not a problem. Go around to the back. Doesn't seem to be any damage at all. 
Let's turn it over. I'm not sure what this thing here is. It seems to be slightly crooked, but not bad. Yeah, so overall, I'd say uh, pretty good. You can see the fan blades there through the grill. Alright, so overall, there was some slight damage to the intermountain when I got it, but it was fixable. The, the Atlas train has come uh, with no damage at all, but there are some extra pieces that need to be installed in it, like the front handrails and the sunshades and various other things. And the the Athens model had some slight damage to a, oh, a small plastic piece where I'm not sure where this actually goes yet, but we'll find where that goes. And one of the handrails had popped out of its its little um, location, but but overall, I I think uh, I'm pretty happy with with the results. And if I have heard some bad comments about. Um, about Athen and I think generally maybe their models are pretty good and and considering the the level of detail on these models it, it they're very easy to break and you have to be very gentle with them alright so that concludes this video and hopefully I can do a couple more videos where I'll be um, comparison the way they run on the tracks and maybe the lighting and various other things. Alright, so thanks for watching.